Hello, my name is Esther and this is the Nigerian College of Aviation and Technology area. This is where I call home. It's so serene out here. Isn't it beautiful? Welcome to my home. My life as an aircraft maintenance engineer. The Nigerian College of Aviation Technology has given to me a whole lot of experience that I, I never thought I could have gotten. Having a background of petroleum engineering and I came in for NYC, not knowing anything about airplanes, it fascinated me to see one fly. But when I got in, the then vector Captain Abba would have some of us stay because he wanted the females to come into the system and show how that we could make a career out of this. And I'm glad I stayed back. After my one year service, I was retained, sent on a course for like two years within the compound. Then I go back on the hangar floor. It's been fun all through because I, I did very well during school days and I got my diploma and license which has helped me grow in the industry, walk around the aircraft, know the parts of the aircraft and work with maintenance manuals, rub minds with people who've been in the industry before you because in a short while I've had a lot of trainings and exposures meet people in this industry and even affiliated to this industry and it's so amazing how that you could get out there and see people who love this art and are willing to you know put in their best to make the aircraft serviceable every day it's something you wake up to knowing that you're not in this game alone you're there with people you can call on to give you advice you relate with tell you about their work experiences and you learn from it and grow as well apart from the courses we attend I've grown with so much speed. I have uh, ratings on the TB9, the TB20, the B58. I've received almost three sets of aircraft while I was here. The TBM850, two helicopters, and then the Diamond-40 behind me. I mean, it's just amazing that you could stay in a place and get so much experience on different aircrafts, and I'm loving it. I know the, the future is brighter than what it is right now. Hands-on is it for me. I've really never seen myself doing much of a computer work. So this is just what I love to do. My normal day entails seeking the face of God for the day because there's this peace that comes with a you know, fulfilled day when you know God has gone ahead of you. So I really love to know the things He has in store for me and the assurance that He's before me and you know, I could just connect. So I do that in the mornings, you know, pray to Him. Have His presence reassure me of a great day ahead. Then I, I get to work. Like today, it's, it, it's been a great day. I, I got here about 6.15 and we got to work to get the aircraft released for the day. So I'm gonna check if the airframe hours are still good. Okay, I still have about 30 something hours so I can go ahead and do the pre-flight for this aircraft. Documentation says it's 5 November, Charlie Alpha Cuba. The weather looks fine. Could you check the store owner please? Thank you, that's fine. Landing, taxi, nav, Drop. Good. Thank you. I signed that out. The insurance is fine. This registration is fine. Wayne certificate is fine. Airworthiness is fine. Okay. So the aircraft is good to go. Send the tech log to the operation guys and the students can come fly. Basically, it's not something that you need to cram on. You ground the job. And you see yourself do real good. It's a thing of joy to know that the aircraft you signed up for the day is safe out there and that the students are using it to train, they're gaining experience from you know, the times they log onto the aircraft. It's an amazing experience and we got today about 5 TB9s, um, 3 TB20s and B58 which are still in the air. I mean the pilot students are doing great and they're loving the aircraft too because they're serviceable. And when it comes down from the sky safely and the shift that took over from me, it gets to let me know that everything is fine. Wow, I feel fulfilled knowing that the next day, maybe another morning, is going to be another great day. Currently, I have trainings on release um, allowances on the TB9, TB20 and the B58. But I'm leaning on what we call the Diamond D40. Oh my god, the aircraft is so sleek. I mean, I've not seen a propeller this fashion and shape before. And I was like, wow, these guys are so amazing. I, and I can't wait to get to be one of those releasing this aircraft. Can you say it for yourself? It's so beautiful really it's been an awesome ride i've had the cost to travel out a lot of courses it's needed i mean the regulation entails that i'm trained to be able to maintain the aircraft make a lot of aviators out there in the world professionals had the opportunity to work on categories of aircraft we have right now in the college and i'm still aspiring to acquire more experience apart from work 
and training courses. I get to travel often, maybe for relaxation or I just want to spend some time out of the country. I get that leisure too. My regular routine is such that I work six days and three days off. My six days encompasses a three days morning and afternoon shift. For young ladies out there, it's a fun job. I would really love if you consider this opportunity. Nigeria College of Innovation and Technology has a whole lot of career opportunities for you here. You get to come and learn you know, the trade as an aircraft maintenance engineer. You can instruct if you want, but I don't really love to instruct. I love hands-on. You need to love your math, English, physics and chemistry. And with that, you're good to go. The only challenge I have with respect to working with so many guys, because just like four females here on the hangar floor, is that they love us so much. I mean, the team is amazing. Wow. <laughs> I really get a lot of love from them, a lot of support. It's an amazing team. I mean, I need more sisters here. What do you think? So make sure you get a form, get into school here, and the sky is just still starting place.